Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to show you how to composite an aerial explosion in the footage. So let's get started. Drag an aerial explosion in the timeline, adjust it where you want. Then apply curves effect on it. Adjust the lower curve lines upward. It affects the darker area to be less dark. Now convert this footage into a 3D layer and place it in the right position. You can scale up and rotate as you like. Now, apply the levels effect on it and slide the middle point to the left side. It lights the darker part of the smoke in the explosion. The main idea behind this is to match the dark part of the explosion footage to the dark part of the background. Try to match these by sliding level points. After adjusting the smoke color, we need to go for the glow of the explosion. So then, apply the deep glow effect to it, and tweak the exposure value. It varies with the different explosions. We need to apply glow only to the bright part of the explosion. Therefore, we need to animate exposure value on bright parts by making a keyframe on it. This is the traditional method. I have another advanced method for this that I will tell you in a moment. Now, also animate the level effect to light up only the bright side. Make keyframes and adjust them where it needs. One important tip. We need to preview every change we have made. It helps with the look of the explosion. Adjust the keyframe and preview it. Tweak animated value according to your explosion look requirements. Adjust level points as the explosion cooled down. If you are new to this channel, then please subscribe to it. It helps me to make these tutorials. Now we are going to create an outer glow for the explosion. We are also going to add lens flare to get a more cinematic look. First, add black solid to the composition. Then apply optical flare effect by videocopilot.net. It's a third-party plugin for After Effect. Go to the plugin options, select suitable preset for the explosion. I think this is the right one. Adjust the flare value as you like. Now select the layer and change its blending mode to outer screen. Select the plugin and move the flare point to the center of the explosion. In the plugin, change the color of the flare to bright orange to match the aerial explosion. We need to track this with the explosion. Right now we're doing it by making manual keyframes. Set keyframes for position, scale, and brightness, and mimic the explosion behavior by adjusting their values. Make small variations on brightness value to look more natural and lower the effect value with the lifespan of the explosion core. Do keyframe adjustment properly to get a smooth effect. I preview more than 10 times to correct any keyframe issues and also one thing, preview it on full resolution if it's possible. To correct contrast, you can tweak curve values and make curve line to S shape. Apply Limit Recolor effect on background footage to reduce the red color of the saturation values. Go to the color wheel and adjust shadows mid-tone and highlights to reduce the high contrast area. There is also a second method to glow your explosion core more effectively than the previous one. Now select the explosion layer and duplicate it. Delete all previous effects on it. Apply Luma Key effect on the footage, it's already set as Key Out Darker. Increase the threshold to remove all the black part in the explosion, and feather by tweaking, Edge Feather. Now only the brighter part is left to work with the glow effect. Apply a simple glow effect on it. Down the glow threshold and increase glow radius. Tweak the values until it looks good. The explosion is quite a long distance, so we need to blur the explosion a little bit. 
apply fast box blur effect on it and blur 5 pixels. Make explosion footage blending mode to add. Down the opacity of the top explosion layer, low. Ok now we are done with the compositing. You can tweak values as you like, or you can fix any color issue in color correction. The next tutorial is on color correction, so be subscribed, be safe.